Chrome extensions can add extra features and functionality to Chrome. There's extensions for managing your passwords, taking screenshots, correcting your spelling and grammar, and loads more. And in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can install them. To do this, you'll need to open up the Chrome Web Store in Google Chrome. This is like the App Store on your phone, but it's a website, not an app, and it installs extensions, not apps. Sometimes a tutorial might give you a link to a specific Chrome extension on the Chrome Web Store. So if you're reading or watching some other tutorial on how to do something else, Name and they tell you you need to install a Chrome extension, they might give you a link where you can just click on that link and open up the page for the extension directly on the Chrome Web Store like this. So if you have a link, go ahead and click on that. But if you don't have a link and you just know the name of an extension you want to install, or if you just want to look around and see what extensions you could install, you can just open up a new tab and go to Chrome Web Store dot Google dot com. So go there and that'll load up. And now we're on just the home page of the Chrome Web Store. So if you're not sure exactly what you're looking for and you just want to look around a bit, you can scroll down here and see some categories and stuff and some recommended extensions and everything. So you can look through that and see what's possible. But if there's something specific you're looking for, like a specific extension or a specific function that you're hoping an extension can do, you can type something in this box up here, this search box. So to me might type dark mode to find an extension that can put Google Chrome into dark mode. So you can type what it might do or the name of it. And in fact, this extension is named dark mode. So the search isn't great, but you can usually find what you're looking for. You might just need to try typing something a bit different. But once you search, you can see several different options, just like an app store. You usually go with one of the top options and you can click on that. And now we can see a whole lot of stuff about it. So we can see the name and categories and everything. We can see it's got 2 million users. So this is quite popular. We can see pictures of what it does. Scroll down and read an overview here. And the reviews aren't that great, but you know, sometimes things aren't that great. So you can scroll through and see all the details about it here. And then once you're ready to go ahead and install this extension, you can just click this add to Chrome button here. And now most of the time when you go to do this, it will pop up with this message asking if you're sure you want to add the extension. And it will usually ask for certain permissions. So this extension needs to read and change all your data on all websites, which kind of seems crazy, but actually this extension makes every website look dark. So in order to do that, it has to change the data to make it look dark. So you just sort of read that and make sure what it's asking for makes sense. Sometimes it'll be a longer list. Sometimes it'll be quite a short list. And if they ask for a lot of permissions, it can make some people feel uncomfortable. But as long as you think the extension is reasonably trustworthy and it's not asking for anything unreasonable for what it has to do, you're probably okay to go ahead and click add extension. And really without agreeing to this and clicking add extension, you really can't install it. So if you want to use it, you kind of have to do that. And now it's actually opened up this page with some information about the extension. So often, not always, but sometimes extensions will open up a page where you can read about stuff about the extension once it's installed. So that's quite good to learn about how you can use it. And you'll see this Chrome pop up here that says dark mode has been added to Chrome and you can close that message. And now you're basically done. The extension has been installed, but there are a few more steps that you might want to do. As you can see, there's this puzzle piece icon here. And if you click on that, 
That will bring up the extensions menu with all your extensions. So you can scroll through and see all your extensions in here. And if we look for it, we'll find it here, this extension we've just installed. And again, it's different with different extensions, but sometimes you have to click on it to use them, other times you don't, but you might have to click on it, so you'd have to come in here and click on it. But what you might wanna do with some extensions at least, is put the icons in this menu here, so that you see them next to the puzzle piece icon. And you can do that quite easily by clicking on the puzzle piece icon and then clicking on this pin icon next to the extension. So we've just installed the dark mode extension. So maybe we'll click the pin to put that extension there. And maybe we also want Grammarly and full page screenshot. So we can pin extensions like that. And then we can close this menu. And now we can just always access these extensions here with one click. So this is really up to you whether you want to do this or not, but some extensions you have to click on them all the time. So it can be easier to have them right here. And then the next part is just really opening up the extension and using it. And unfortunately, Timmy can't really offer specific help on, on that because at this point, every extension will be a bit different, but usually to get started, you'll click on the extension or something. And in this case, you just click on the extension and it immediately does its job. But sometimes you click on an extension like Grammarly or something, and it'll bring up this sign in window and you'll have to click sign in and stuff to sign into Grammarly, or it might just bring up a settings page or something. So, Different extensions have different things and different ways that you use them, but you've now installed the extension, so you can go ahead and use that extension however you do with that extension. Hopefully it gives you a page of instructions like this, or you're watching or reading another tutorial that tells you how to use that extension, and then you'll know how to use it. But that's all there is to this video. That's how you can install Chrome extensions in Google Chrome for some extra functionality. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you in another one soon.